I feel like I like Blacklist Draft a bit more, although I do think they can get punished and it's going to come down to a lot of execution, but I will favor Blacklist here. There's the charge for the rune on mid lane. Tim's coming in as well. Indeed. Let's cancel it though and grabs that water rune. On the hands of Boss Coop. KP might go down top lane. Oh, he will! The multi shot level 2. Enough for Mickey to obtain the kill there onto KPI. I'm not sure if he will complete the meter hammer straight up, but I do kind of like it. I feel like he's going to just be level 6 at some point, and the rotations that can come top are going to be really oh, yeah. scary. Let's charge top lane. No gosh, rotation though. here. Their attempt to go onto Mickey. And he will fall here. I mean, as the boots, but he has been um, pinged up. Blacklist rivalry really want to go for him here as they use the smoke. Uh-oh, he's been ambushed within the trees. I don't think there's an escape for this. The Sacred Arrow lands, and Raven's able to pick that kill up here. They'll kill Mickey. Carl gets the rune as well. Boxy finally meeting up with Zai here. Maybe perhaps we'll see a tier one tower take here on the bottom. Yeah, but Blacklist Just getting it. Meanwhile, there was smoke hit. Ooh, arrow, Nisha. Sacred arrow. It connects onto Nisha. Nisha might be dead here. Will be indeed. The Star Storm claims its life. Ooh, this looks like mid tower is gonna fall as well. Raven TP is in. Well, Liquid still farming pretty well on their course. Zion Mickey have not dropped from the top two spots. TP bottom. Oh, they see Mickey. Nice charge cancel, but the Sacred Arrow. It won't connect. Is Mickey going to get away? Zai comes in to try and help here, but look at this. Blacklist ravage. got all their attention here. The Ravage Run comes out. They will try and attempt to kill Zai here, and he is taking way too much damage than he can handle. And can they'll they find a double kill here on Blacklist Rivalry. And... It looked like he was waiting for a zip, and Liquid does take Roshan for free, so... This hurts Blacklist because... This Aegis is a very good way of dealing with Ravage. Getting even stronger here, surpassing the Morphling slightly. Top of the net worth now. Zai's been having an alright game, even though he was taken out once and only has one assist. He's just been pretty much farming here. Oh, boss cool. Uku. Is he in trouble here? Mickey coming forward there. Oh, the multi-shot oh, arrow's no. not enough in range and the Searing Chains are there. Mickey the might be in trouble, locked in place within the river. Will be found. Oh, Does have the Aegis though. Will be coming back alive. Do they have anything to save Mickey here? No, they do not. We'll just fall. This Aegis is just snuffed out. Gone. This we are. Recapture that or come forward. First I mean, they don't have themselves a blink though, Adam, on KPI. It's all right. Carl will go in. They have no BKBs for the chains anyway. He's Nisha. Oh, Searing Chain, Sacred Arrow connects onto Nisha there. Does have himself a BKB, but he's not be able to live through it all. Meanwhile, they'll focus now Boxy. The Ravage comes out. It does connect there onto two. They will find Boxy as well. The rest of Liquid definitely in some trouble as they all initiate their focus here onto Mickey. Who's going to fall as well. And triple kill for Carl. Nothing there that Zai could have done. Yeah, it's a DD for Drow though. It's the final boss that Blacklist need to beat, honestly. Look at it. They're positioned quite well. On the high ground here, KPI may take the lead. And if he doesn't have this blink dagger, oh, they the come forward now. They're gonna try they and take force him the out KP. as fast as humanly possible. They will find him. The BKB's all committed there. Not gonna be harassed by the Ravage. Not affected at all. Tim's gone as well. They found three here on Liquid. This will head now into the Roshan. Calls out, but oh! Could have been found there if they used the just just a little bit earlier. He should could have cancelled that TP. Double damage, Draw Ranger into Roshan. The BKB timings. KP was not expecting that. So what can they do with this Aegis advantage now, nah, Liquid? They've had themselves a good team fight. Okay, and Ravage KP. is indeed down for another minute. They're going to try and take advantage of this and try and find themselves KPI. What's the Halberd off? Do they have themselves enough damage? Oh, is he able to get away? No! They will find the kill. In return, though, Nisha does not have himself a lot of mana. And what do they have to do in this situation, Adam? What can Blacklist Rivalry do to defend? They just have to keep on clearing the wave here with the multi-shot? I want to backdoor I, protection. I want to see him start the fight with this Spirit Breaker Shadow Blade. Ooh. Chain it into Ravage. Oh, the BKB. One hit, 
He's alright. Now KPI is back, KPI's Ravage ready with the counter initiation, but look at that damage, has to be careful here, Mickey deals well, quite a trouble. lot, but Raven coming in, Zai still alive. Look at that damage there, takes out Cuckoo instantaneously, KPI is still ready with the Ravage, when is he going to commit it? He's still saving it, being as patient as he possibly can. But taking too much oh, damage, he's no, going to finally commit it there. The Sacred Arrow lands there onto Mickey. Does have himself the Aegis, though. The he's going to try and focus down Nisha, but the cheese comes out just in the nick of time there. And Carl is going to be found. Taken out. Killing spree gone. Tim's in trouble here as well. Does not have any more leap charges. Just going to be able to get into the Boxy fountain here. Moves. And they will find Boxy. Just being a little bit over aggressive there. They're trying to find themselves a set of racks. And it seems like Liquid... They will indeed get it. I definitely want to see Zai's building damage at the end of this game. I just saw him take out another tier 2 with ease. Oh, nice Sacred Arrow there onto Insania, but no follow-up. Well, KP actually goes for the Ghost Scepter instead, so a bit of a different approach, trying to live through the burst instead. We have Ravage ready. Ravage is going to be committed. It will connect onto oh, three. BK. They're going to try and find Mickey now, who will use the BKB. Force tap himself away, though. Boxy definitely in peril. Will fall, but along with Cuckoo as well. Meanwhile, now Carl taking a lot of damage. The BKB has expired. Nisha taking a lot of damage. We'll back off, but look at this. Zai in the back lines with the familiars finds the mega creeps. Cheeky, um. cheeky man. And Raven will get vengeance and take down those familiars for just. 200 gold, but definitely worth it here to get the Megas. Now Raven. Zai's in gangster mode back right here. now. Oh, they found themselves a Hex there onto KPI with the break as well from the Silver Edge, so not able to dispel that Hex there from the Cypher Vice. Very nicely played there from Liquid. They take down the Tidehunter once again. Thanks to Arrow too, Zai. Oh, the stun on Carl. With the Shivers in Sun, oh, is still alive, but the Waveform will find him, but in return, Carl is going to fall. So now they Raven fix their attention juke, here onto Raven. Know. Raven trying to lay through, but the damage is too much for him to handle. He's found as well. GG is cooled. Game one hit is going to be going to Liquid. Very, very well played here. We're in a predicament within the first 20 minutes of the game, but that Roshan fight, they're able to turn it around and get themselves game one here. So good job from Team Liquid. I mean, Team Liquid's draft is looking... Pretty snazzy, do I have to say so indeed, especially with this last pick lone druid here from Nisha. So annoying actually here for KP. He really wants that Vanguard here, but is Vanguard really gonna help him actually apply a lot more pressure? First blood on top lane. Raven though. Oh no, the bash! Oh the bash! Boxy Bash! 70%! Oh, it hurts you at, it hurts you at the worst times. You know how you tell yeah, if people top, are expert Spirit Breaker Dark Shear players? It's when the Dark Shear is level 3, the Spirit Breaker is level 2. That's how you know. And Liquid, that's what they did. Really well done. That was a blood grenade there. And meanwhile, in the mid lane as well, there's a kill. With Boxy rotating in there, this AP left on an island as well against Enchantress and Dusa. Not gonna get the most CS down here with top lane because we're alive. Zai has to be careful. Level two Jingu. Maybe they can get a kill onto Boxy here, Raven. Yeah, they'll find that kill there, but Cuckoo on the other hand gets found and the dispel. Of the Jingu mastery. Nisha's in the jungle too. Can't really go to him. He's hanging around bottom with KP as well. Oh, top lane. Bronze to Zai will come. Zai might be dead. No, the surge helps him. Still gonna pursue. The wall of replica oh, is the coming in. Carl has mana. himself no mana here. Can Kuku save him? Really I no think. mana at all. They might find the kill. I mean, the never strike goes on to Kuku. And the impetus, is it enough to find Carl? They'll try and get some vision. Oh, they'll go the wrong way. Trying to go into the Twin Gate. Oh, no bash. Oh, gets it because of the Iron Shell there applied onto Boxy. So 
We'll get a double kill here. They'll take down both the Pognet and the Storm Spirit. Yeah, Liquid starting to group towards this bottom side of the map now. You see Mickey switching to the top side. Just want to kick KP out here. Don't want this anti to do so with KP. Can they get the root? There's the fear. No root from the bear. The bear comes forward though with the surge. Where's the root? Can they get the root? There it is. 20% chance. Will they find the kill? Yes, they will. The Looks iron like shovel help take though. him down. It's an issue, but in return, they're going to try and find something here. Blacklist Rivalry, oh, they'll find themselves in Sanit. But they'll only find themselves for position 5, Enchantress. That's that's all they find here. Still kind of hard for them to kill heroes right now, unless they get caught in the Wukong. Raven's going for a Diffusal Blade, actually. I was wondering if he would choose to go for this or the Desol, because I feel like Anti-Mage is the one that's supposed to deal with Lisa. Is he okay? Oh, Life the drain, Decrepify oh. as well, look at that! Two kills on Blacklist Rivalry. Thought they could maybe perhaps pick off someone here, but they smoke up now as well. Maybe perhaps they can try and find someone in the jungle, lurking around, trying to get some farm. They'll oh, actually scout out Nisha, Nisha here, Nisha no reveals ultimate. himself. So they zip forward, they want to try and find Nisha as fast as possible. Does not have himself the true form, so maybe in trouble. They'll find the kill on Takuku, but look at this, Nisha may fall here. He will indeed. They'll finally take out the Lone Druid. But Carl does not have himself any mana to retreat. He's going to try and zip away, but not be able to zip anywhere at all. Will be taken down by Zai with the Iron Shell applied onto Boxy there, so... Why is my enchantress have Dragonlance? <laughs> Choose up the Solar Crest instead. <laughs> it's just Great such a huge crest. timing with Butterfly Medusa. Will they snatch a Tormentor? It seems like they will. Take that. The Agnim Shard there for Insania. Trying to scout something out here. They have a charge oh, the charge, here. charge, Raven. It's a Raven. He's going to be actually feared oh, there. We'll be able to take oh, out the bear because Nisha was taken out in the back lines here by the hands of Carl. Is that correct? And then they applied the Ballast Strike? Yeah, they force out a Glyph. No Full glyph. of Crest is there. Mickey will head on top. Nisha's here with the Deso too. Playing really far back though. Just want to use the Aegis on Mickey. Oh, charge coming in. Oh, oh it connects onto two. Cool. Never strike. Cuckoo. Still alive, the Ballast Strike's there, back onto two. Cuckoo's gonna fall, but along with Boxy as well. The buyback from Cuckoo will come back here. They do find a tier three though on Liquid. Question is though, do they want to continue the siege? It looks like they'll actually disengage here, but Blacklist Rivalry, they want to take them by surprise here with the Smoke of Deceit as they come with the zip in there, trying what to find time with the Ballast Strike there as well. Will they find the killer? Lovely Stone Gaze there, actually affecting up KPI and the entanglement is there. The root from the bear finds the Anti-Mage. And with Dude. the Wukongs down, they're going to head themselves and get a set of racks here on them. Oh man, that's rough. No Wukong now. Liquid, no real reason to stop here. I guess oh. other than the tier 2. KP actually goes for a Hyper Stone. I wonder why he's going for yeah, this build. Yeah, I think we should be seeing like a Basher here onto the AM or... It's difficult when you're against the Butterfly. I'd like to see a... Abyssal. I'm not really sure what's the reason for the Hyper Stone build. It's really hard yeah. for him to go in fights. Oh, is he gonna that, live? That's, no that's a dead Enchantress. Uh-oh. A three tower bottom, though, is being slowly taken out. Okay, quickly taken out as soon as Nisha comes in with a bear. They need to do something now. Wukong's command comes out. They're gonna try and attempt to find a kill here. Onto the Medusa, but the Stone Gaze did come off there in time. Stone Gazing up. Everyone surrounding Mickey. They find Tim's. The melee rack still survives though, but I think it will be taken out quite soon. And they break it's, his Lincoln's. Oh, the mana no, void the is again. not enough. They, the no, no, they, they, broke, they broke the Lincoln's. The mana void did the damage, I think, but. I need to didn't do enough. Recap. I'm so used to seeing these Dusas just get blown up. So, Carl attempting to try and find Boxy here. That's the charge. 
Oh, well, ball charge away. Oh, ball the strike. Oh, Raven stops him from charging away and try and secure this Roshan. Because they know if they get this Aegis, Team Liquid, it will be game. I mean, Mickey can just go up and siege the high ground with Aegis and Mega Creeps will be got. Well, but they miss. need to get this Aegis. This they have game the around. It's all down onto this as they zip in there. And with they the kill Mickey. Vortex, they got enough to melt down the mana here. Onto Mickey. Mickey's getting lower. Will they find the kill? A big, massive mana void. The buyback he instantly back, comes out there from... Mickey wants to try and come back to the fight here. Blacklist rivalry, though. They're actually all going to get themselves out. And... That's an easy Roshan for them. Aegis and, and now I'm going to be of Mickey. Raven still holding the ward here. Blacklist, they don't want to defend high ground. They want to take this fight outside. They find Boxy. Oh, yeah. They got the balance right there onto Boxy. And Boxy is just found within mere seconds. Nice yes. pick off from Blacklist. Thanks to the Decrepify here, which will have the effect. It's just whether KPI can get the Blink off and the Abyssal Blade, and then they follow up with the Electric Vortex to stop Mickey from using the Stone Gaze. But the problem is, you have to start the, the, the Electric Vortex comes out there anyway with a Blast Off as well. The Wukong's Command is indeed out. KPI holding his ground, trying to find Zai, but Zai's going to be able to survive. They won't find anyone there within that initiation. The Wukong's Command is indeed down. KPI has no mana on the left. Being charged now, the bear, though. Oh, the illusion. Bears down, and what the hell? KPI was found within the trees, has no buyback, down for a minute. It's like got him on the wall, and the illusion just took out all his mana, his hyperstone kind of backfiring on him. Blacklist, what will they do now? You need to find pickoffs in the back line. Can't really find to do so without the anti mage. Oh, good, they got the naggers. Going for Nisha. They are indeed. Nisha, he still lives through it. The root there, along with the batch as well. Car will fall. No buyback available. Games will fall too. GG is called. And game two is going to be going to Liquid here. So Liquid, clean up this series 2-0. And we'll take game two. Yeah, pretty clean game from them. We saw Blacklist have a small chance at a comeback, but Mickey way ahead of them.